Red na ba to? Ayan, good morning, good morning po sa lahat ng ating manonood. Ayan, so patuloy lang natin i-share ang link na ito sa ang ating uh, The Real Estate. Ayan, nanonood na sa atin ngayon si Mr. Ryan Digia. Ayan, sabihin niyo po kung from what area kayo para mabati namin kayo. Watching also from Abu Dhabi, we have Miss Marilyn Hemuta. Hello, Miss Marilyn. Pakishare po yung uh, itong live live FB uh, video natin para mapanood po ng mga kasama natin. We also have Miss Jenny Hatakinaka watching from Abu Dhabi. Yan tuloy to live po ang pag-share. Maraming salamat sa mga naunang mag uh, mag manood dito ng ating video. At syempre pa, isa sa mga nauna ng ngayon na mag, mag-login ang ating Fridge Ambassador si Miss Janet Morris watching from the Philippines. All the way from Jeddah, Saudi Arabia, we have Miss Sandy Rial. Ayan, sabi nga ni Miss Marilyn, yes, share, 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 share na. Ayan, meron din pala tayong advocate from Chicago, si Mr. Erwin Pangilinan. Ayan, thank you for watching, Sir Erwin. Ayan, nandiyan din po ang ating Fritch Ambassador from Dubai, si Mr. Maynard, Portugal. Hello, Sir Maynard. Ayan, pwede niyo po itag ang mga friends ninyo para mapanood nila no, ang isa na namang exciting na project ang ah, magbib- mabibigyan tayo ng update sa gabing ito. Ayan, watching from Paris, we have Miss Lolita Presco. Meron din tayong kasama ngayon from Kuwait, Mr. Chris Domingo. Hi, Sir Chris. Ayan, sabi naman ni Mr. John Carlos Banansala, Very interested siya sa topic. So let's go real estate. Ayan, sa sobrang dami ng chat, natatabunan na. Ayan, meron po from Dubai, Miss Rose Madredejo. Ayan, tumalon siya from hula, paghuhula kanina dun sa box natin sa Preach Rebo. Ngayon, nandito naman siya sa Freedom Business. Yan, watching from the mom, Saudi Arabia, Miss Miss Jeline Degano. Ayan, talagang worldwide tayo ngayon. Yan, we have 38 viewers as of now. Kaya i-share share na po natin ang link na ito para, para naman maraming makapanood. Itong exciting project na magbibigay sila ng update sa atin ngayon. Kaya i-share share na po natin itong link na ito. Watching from Bahrain, we have RV Punsalan. Hello. Hello sa mga kababayan natin dyan sa Bahrain. Tag your friends and your fellow OFW para mapanood nila ang, is- ang isa na namang exciting project na ma- malalaman nyo ang mga update ngayon. Ayan, watching from Singapore, Singapore Mr. Ryan Bigia. Meron din tayong kasama from Jordan. 
si V Gold. Wow, marami siguro ng gold dyan sa Jordan. Watching from Doha, Qatar, we have Teresa. Teris. Ayan. Hello po. At syempre naman, isa sa, sa ating masugid na manonood from Dubai, si Mr. Arvin Kides. And dyan din si Mr. Corky Yonko from Kuwait. Ayan, tuloy-tuloy lang po ang pag-share. At sa ilang minuto po ay magsisimula na po tayo. Alam ko, excited na kayo. At wag nating aksayahin ang panahong ito, kaya i-share na natin sa mga iba pa nating friends. Ayan. Share-share lang. Do your watch party. Ayan, para marami makapanood. Ayan, si Mr. Raymond Tolentino from Qatar. Ayan, marami rin tayong manonood from Qatar. Miss Rosario Manibo watching from Rome, Italy. Hello po. Ah, nakakagutom, parang gusto tuloy natin ng pasta at pizza. Watching from Japan, Konbanwa, Miss Padilla. Wow. Parang Africa na lang yata ang hindi ko nababanggit ah. Ayan, sabi ni ang ating French Ambassador, ja- Miss Janet Morris, excited much na daw siya. Ayan, excited na rin po kami. No, kaya sobrang, sobrang punong-puno ang araw na ito na marami tayong matututunan, kaya i-share-share na natin. Watching from Dubai, we have Miss Marilyn Galban. Ayan, Miss Josephine Requ- uh, Requis, ayan, hello po sa inyo dyan. Watching from Dubai, we have Miss Gina Kides. Hello, Sir Ramville from Abu Dhabi. Ayan, maayong gabi i, sabi ni Sir Romeo Justinia from Dubai. Good day everyone, watch him from Kuwait, si Miss Sally Revia. Ayan, ilang sandali na lang po. At mapapanood nyo na ang isa na namang exciting na project update. Ang isa sa pinaka inaabangan nating project, ang Putura Centro. Ayan, meron din tayong kababayan na nanonood ngayon from Davao, no? Mis- Mr. Irvi Morales. Watching from Milan, Miss Marilyn Tapa. Hello sa mga taga Milan. Ayan, we have 72 viewers ngayon, no? Patuloy lang tayo sa pag-share para mas marami pang makapanood. Watching from Malaysia, Mr. Alan Army. At syempre, from the from the country of the Queen Majesty, United Kingdom. Hello, Miss Maria Eloisa Sedano. Meron din tayong kasama from the Holy Land, Israel, Miss Marilyn Bonsu. Hindi po siya panganay, Bonsu po siya. Ayan, hindi na po makapaghintay. So, ilang minuto na lang po. Konting, konting share pa, no? Paabutin natin ng 80. Ayan, so 80 na tayo. <laughs> Ang bilis. Watching from Paris, France, Miss Olivia Punsalan. Hello, Miss Olivia. Watching from UK, we have Miss Sheila Lacerna. Hello, Miss Sheila. Ayan, no? dumadami na ang mga kababayan natin na nanonood ngayon. Kaya itag nyo na po sila no? para makita nila itong ating live event. Ala, eh, meron din na ang kasama from Batangas. We have Miss Vivian Dasalia. Hello sa mga taga-Batangas. 
watching from Singapore, we have Mr. Leo and Jane Senson. Okay, hindi na natin patatagalin pa. Tawagin na po natin ang ating host for today. Walang iba, kundi ang ating founder ng Freedom Group of Companies. Walang iba, kundi si Ms. Tet Kudyamat Lim. Hello, hello! Napakagandang araw sa lahat ng mga Pilipino sa buong mundo. Naliyo ako, grabe Joseph, naliyo ako kung saan-saan tayong parte ng mundo nakarating sa mga oras na ito. Hindi lang ako naliyo sa haba ng biyahe, kung hindi nagutom din ako imagining yung mga masasarap na pagkain sa kanika nilang bansa. Pero siyempre pa, wala pa rin sasarap sa adobo dito sa Pilipinas. Tama ba? Tama ba? Kamusta na? Kamusta na? Simula natin ang good news. Good news dito sa Pilipinas para sa inyo. Dahil dito sa Freedom Business, kahit may pandemic, walang tigil ang ating pagme-mental workout. Especially ngayon na meron tayong napaka-importante muling bisita galing sa ating partner developer which is Finnvis Land Incorporated. Yan. Pero bago lahat, alam niyo ba meron akong good news sa inyo. Ngayong araw na to, dito kasi may isang linggo na eh, para nakaka-exciting na yung numero kung ano nangyayari. Sa COVID dito sa Pilipinas, ang good news, kagabi, 6,000 plus. Ngayon po, 3,000 na lang, di ba? So yan ang maganda sa ating mga uh, kasosyo dito sa Freedom Business. Lagi nga nakikita ay ang maganda at good news. Okay ba? So, ngayon po, para po sa mga first time na nanonood, dito po sa ating Freedom Business uh, PH or Philippines ay nag-feature tayo ng mga uh, proyekto kung saan ang ating mga kababayan Pinoy sa iba-ibang parte ng mundo ay pwedeng magkaroon ng investment. Yan. So ngayong araw na to, ay guess natin muli ang ating uh, kasama Sa Philinvest Land Incorporated, sila ang ating partner developer for so many years, more than 10 years na po tayo. At talaga pong sila ay trusted developer for 60 years na po sa ating bansang Pilipinas. Yan. At dahil sa atin, di ba, natutulungan natin ang ating mga kapwa Pinoy sa Middle East, sa Asia, sa Europa, tama si Joseph, Africa na lang ang kulang, na malaman nila ano nga ba ang nangyayari sa The Real Estate. Yeah. Simulan na natin. So tawagin na natin Joseph, ang ating guest for tonight. Walang iba kundi si Miss Aven Valderrama. Siya po ang cluster head ng lahat ng Midrise Project sa Philinvest Land Incorporated. Kaya pinga natin ko ano mga good news and updates sa ating mga MRB kung tawagin na proyekto dito sa Pilipinas. Pasok Miss Aven. Good morning, good morning Miss Tet. Good morning sa lahat ng ating Freedom Business Advocates and Ambassadors. Uh, it's a it's a good opportunity again and a good day for us to be here. Sabi po namin last week Kung mabibigyan kami ng another opportunity to join you, eh bonus na bonus na yon. And Miss Tess, wow. kung sa'yo, adobo, ako ang sinigang ang naiisip ko. Mainit na sinigang sa mainit na kanin. <laughs> Magugutom yata tayo ngayon. Actually, iniinggit ko lang yung mga nakikinig, pero sa totoo lang, ang naiisip ko talaga ay yung mga pagkain nila sa ibang bansa kagaya ng pizza spontini sa Milano or ano ba ang avocado shake sa Middle East naman ang wow. anyway there's no place Siguro. like kaya adobo na lang at saka sinigang sure ako mas correct. masarap correct <laughs> pero well, I'm sure may mas masarap kang news para sa lahat ng mga kababayan nating Pinoy na nagnanais makabalik ng bansang Pilipinas tama Miss Aven? Uh, tamang tama yan Miss Tet kasi kung last week Meron tayong good news na sinabi at ni-reveal na napakalapit sa puso natin yung bago nating project, yung pinaka-baby sa lahat ng MRB na Oasis Project. Yan yung walang iba kundi ang Belize Oasis. And I know you very well uh, are familiar with the location, Miss Tet, kasi ang lapit-lapit sa napakagandang Philinvest City natin yan. 
So, yeah. yan, yan yung investment uh, opportunity na sinare natin last time. Last pero week. sabi nga namin, yes, last week. Pero sabi nga natin, hindi tayo titigil. Kung may bunso na project ang Oasis, may bunsong project din ang Futura. Pero bago okay. yan, para po dun sa mga kasama, namin last, kasama natin last week na nanood sa atin at pati yung mga bago ngayon, gusto lang naman natin sabihin na uh, sa MRB, sinabi natin na ito yung parang anak di ba po ng ng uh, HRB o mga high rise buildings at mga subdivision so you yeah. get the best of both worlds mister ang mm -hmm. importante na si sinabi natin uh, napaka naka, napakadaming open spaces pag sinabi natin na mid rise building development pero very secured ka katulad ng sa mga HRB or high rise buildings kasi Pagpasok mo pa lang sa MRB development, meron tayong uh, adequate security. Pagpasok pa sa building mo, may security ka pa. So, uh, tapos madami din tayong amenities. Yung mga location natin, nasa, nasa malapit lang po sa mga central business districts. So, napakalapit sa mga schools. La, sa panahon ngayon, napaka-importante ng grocery. Yes. So, ang mga, opo, yung ating mga developments, Maglalakad ka lang, may grocery na, may main supermarket na sa lahat, may mga eskwelahan na din, at ang importante din ngayon, bangko. Pero I think ngayon, dahil sa ECQ, yung pinaka-importante, yung internet, yung connectivity. And we're very happy that we have very strong uh, support, internet uh, support in all our projects. At yung huli natin na sinabi natin, na, 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 na papanahon kasi ECQ po, uh, we were very much uh, elated kasi po we saw the very strong sense of community in all our MRB projects. Saan po kayo makakita na ang mga, mga, mga residente po ay may sariling parang mini palengke sa loob ng development at ito ay bunga ng pagtutulungan, hindi lang ng prod, property admin but also by our residents. So uh -huh. ganun ka strong ang... Um, sense of community and camaraderie po natin sa mga projects natin. Ang maganda kasi sa MRB, Miss Avin, ano mo, uh, alam mo yung para kang nakatira sa subdivision, kasi di ba yes. sa mga outside Manila, ang laman ng subdivision is mga house and lot. Pero since yes. andito pa rin siya sa city, di ba, pero parang feeling mo, subdivision siya, kaya parang condivision ang dating, no? Kasi kapag ka nasa isang building ka lang, tapos highway na, paglabas mo, ayan na, pwede ka nang... Pwede ka nang mabangga ng bus o ng jeep, tama? <laughs> yes. Di ba? Uh -oh. Pero dito sa MRB, since nasa loob ka ng malaking uh, parang subdivision, di ba? Paglabas mo, you're still in the village. Pero you're in the city ha, paglabas mo ng, ano, ng subdivision na yan. Yun ang, yun ang number one advantage. Saka yung pinagmamalaki natin na ang daming open spaces, tama? Tama, no? tamang tama, Miss Tetya. Yeah. At hindi rin siya ganun kataas, kaya nga mid-rise building. Mm -mm. No? So, yun ang maganda advantage, hindi siya yung siksikan, puno. Uh, you can still uh, maggala paglabas mo, maglakad-lakad ka sa loob ng, ano, ng subdivision, sa loob ng vicinity ng buong Correct. project. No? Kaya nakaka-excite kasi itong MRB is... Uh, something new in the Philippines, di ba? Nag-start pa lang ito, baka mga less than, less than 10 years pa lang. Nauso na yung yes. MRP na malapit mm -hmm. sa Maynila. Yan. Tapos isa tayo, ang Philinvest, na nanguna when uh, building these types of developments, yung MRBs. So, Ms. Ted, kung last week, sabi nga natin, we featured a south project. Gagawin natin yung south, uh, north, south, east, and west. So, to, yeah. for today... Ang ating project feature, yung bunso naming project sa Futura, is a project in the West. So ano ba po yung project sa West? Uh, yan ang teritoryo ni Yorme. So yan yung ating papakita mamaya. Oo. So napaka-exciting. Miss Aven, no? for the sake ng mga bago nating viewer dito, and gusto ko rin batiin lahat ng mga investors ng Futura, itong project na to, itong project sa Futura, Futura Centro. Yes. Welcome po, congratulations po sa inyong lahat, and I hope na mas lalo pa kayo ma-excite sa investment nyo sa Pilipinas dahil kaharap natin ang mga developer na gumagawa at gagawa at tatapos ng ating proyekto. Ano bang difference ng isa lang? No? Anong difference yeah. ng Futura Centro? Kasi may word na Futura, di ba? 
Mm-mm. Tapos sentro. Ano ibig sabihin ng futura? Pag sinabi mo futura yung project and then yung isa is oasis. Meron pa tayong mm-hmm. spatial, di ba? So anong difference mm-hmm. sa category? Si futura po kasi yung um, brand natin, official brand na natin for our affordable projects. Okay. So, kung, kung, kung titingnan po natin, si Futura ang parang magulang ng mga special nating mga projects. Kaya nga po, yung mga bago nating projects ngayon, kapag sila ay uh, affordable projects, uh, Futura. naka-Futura na po siya. Okay. Yun yung, yun yung so, brand natin. Tapos so si yung Futura centro po is a location. Is the parent o magulang ng special Tama? Opo. opo. Okay. Eh, si Oasis, sino siya? Lolo't Lola? <laughs> uh, ano, pinsan po siya. Kasi si Oasis naman po is under the Aspire brand of Phil Invest. Oh. So, ang pagkakaiba po nila, ang Futura po kasi is geared towards startup families. Yung gusto pong magkaroon ng sariling uh, bahay, pero it's still within uh, reach of the central business districts. Gusto mag magsarili magsarili din mm-hmm. yung sa aspire naman po or oasis projects natin ito po yung uh, very much particular sa lifestyle kaya po oh. mas marami po tayong amenities uh, mas marami po tayo din na open spaces for the lifestyle and preferences of uh, those kinds of market yun po yung Ay basic na difference so iba-iba pala yung category nila. Hiwalay pala okay. yung Aspire. So Oasis is part of the Aspire. Aspire is actually mas mataas na category. Ama? Uh, Kasi mid-income po natin na uh, mid-income. mid-income natin na uh, mga products, yes. Yan. Mid-income yung Aspire. And Belize last week is part of the Aspire, tama? Papa, si Yan. Belize uh, Oasis is part of the Aspire uh, portfolio yeah. of projects. Yeah. Yeah. So ngayong araw po ito, ay pumunta naman tayo sa Futura category. At ito yeah. naman po ang ating Futura Centro na fresh, na fresh, na fresh pa rin. Ayan. Yes. Kung meron po kayong mga katanungan, pwede po kayong mag-chat para po uh, mamaya pwede natin itanong. Uh, na, na, nanunod po si, si ating kasamang Sir Joseph para tingnan ang inyong mga katanungan. Dahil marami pong projects ang under sa Midrise Building Cluster. Yan. Okay. Opo. Miss so, Aven. Think, ngayon po siguro, uh, pwede natin pa, uh, pa, uh, palakihin ang ating uh, kaalaman tungkol dun sa aming Futura products or Futura Aha. line of projects. So, uh, kasama po natin for tonight is, is our uh, project development head for Futura Projects, uh, Mr. Sol Doliente, will give us more on what Futura is and what is happening with that kind of, with the with our portfolio of projects, Ms. Tim. Ayan, thank you, thank you so much, Ms. Aven. So, thank you. I'll see you again mamaya kung may mga yes. tanong sila. Thank you, Ms. Aven. Thank uh, you. Kasama naman natin ngayon si Mr. Sol Doliente. Siya po ang Project Development Officer ng Midrise Building. So I think, uh, tawagin na natin, papasukan na natin sa on stage si Mr. Sol Dolente. Hi Sol! Magandang, magandang araw. Yan. Hi, Ms. Pep. Good morning. Yan. Sol, ang ganda ng ngiti mo. Alam mo bang nakikita ng buong mundo ang ngiti mo? Wala <laughs> yata ngayon is Africa eh. So, batiin mo naman na ating mga kababayan Pinoy na excited makinig sa mga latest updates mo. Okay. Good morning sa lahat ng nandito sa live chat, sa lahat ng Freedom Business Partners natin. I'm so happy na being invited in this kind of event. So, tuwan-tuwa ako, Miss Beth, for this, for this event. Naku, so, huwag ka mag-alala kasi uh, maraming beses ka pa namin i-invite. <laughs> <laughs> Kasi ang alam ko Sol, pa yan. <laughs> ang alam ko Sol, di ba, uh, since ikaw yung uh, may hawak ng lahat ng Midrise uh, Project Development Officer ng mga Midrise Building, marami kang project na hawak under Futura, tama ba? Yes, right now we have roughly mga five existing projects for under five the Futura. under sa'yo. Yes. So ano-ano yun? Pwede ba namin malaman? So, meron tayong Futura East, located in Cainta, Rizal. Then, okay. we have the Alta Spatial, located in Valenzuela. Then, 
We have the Verde Spatial naman, located sa Quezon City, along Commonwealth. Then uh -huh. we have our existing project na one of the first spatial projects natin, which is one spatial in Pasig. And not last but not the least, yung ating pinakabago, pinakabunsong Futura project, which is the Futura Centro. Yun! Nag-gets ko na. So maraming project under sa ating bisita ngayon na si Mr. Sol Dolente. So I'm very sure na marami siya masishare. Pero ngayong oras po ito, gusto natin tutukan gaano ba na makakyut, kaganda itong bunsong anak ng Futura, ng Futura Projects, which is, sabi ko nga, bunsong anak, very fresh. So this is pre-selling. I think, Ano to eh, bago nag-lockdown lang lumabas, tama ba, Sol? Yes, it was launched parang December. So parang un, ano, December of 2019. So pamasko talaga natin tong project na to sa ating mga... Yeah, so as in talagang pre-selling siya, no? Lupang yes. pa, pa lang. Kaya magandang pag-usapan to kasi ito yung mga best time na magandang pumasok sa investment kasi wala pang... Well, hindi pa natatayo yung building, wala pa yung swimming pool, wala pa yung, yung, yung mga amenities, di ba? So habang natatayo yan, syempre, pataas na ng pataas ang presyo ng property. Kaya nakaka-excite. May nagtatanong na nga dito eh, pre-selling daw po ba itong project nyo, Sir Sol? Yes, pre-selling. And also to add to that, no, Miss Ted, na napakagandang mag-invest pag pre-selling. Kasi, of course, pag pre-selling, yung prices natin are the kumbaga sana introductory price. So talagang mababa talaga yung prices natin compared na pagka naging RFO na or nasimulan na po natin na mag-construct. Actually, ang nakikita ko before we proceed sa presentation ni Sir Sol, no? ang nakikita ko maganda dito is yung location niya. Kasi di ba sabi nga nila eh, kung mag invest ka, doon ka sa battlefield. No? Ito po yeah. talaga... Battlefield. Battlefield ng Pilipinas, Manila. Kaya nga, sikat na sikat si, si, si Mayor Isko Moreno. Kasi andito ang bakbakan. No? Andito yung napakadaming school. Andito lahat ng government offices. Andito. No? And I used to be part of that Manila, yung lugar na yan. Hindi kami nag-debate dati ni sa, <laughs> sa Santa Mesa, sa SM Santa Mesa. Malapit siya doon, di ba? Yeah. Uh -huh. Correct. Oh, diba? Correct. Yeah, so sige. Excited na ako. So pwede mo bang, meron ka pa bang good news sa amin? Uh, later, i-discuss ko further yung kung saan ba talaga sa Manila and then what Manila is all about. Kasi I'm pretty sure lahat ng mga freedom business partners natin are abroad. So syempre kailangan din nila to be updated with regards to what is happening right now with the country and also in Metro Manila and specifically Manila itself. So later on, I'm going to share my presentation to, to, the, to the group para at least mas, ma, mas maintindihan ng mas mabuti yung ating ano, pinipresent na project later. Yes! Hmm. So may, may... Meron ba kayong tanong para kay Sol? Meron ba tayong tanong sa mga viewers regarding sa Futura? So wala na. So Sol, wala ka na i-share sa amin mamaya ulit. Tatawagin na natin si Ah uh, no, I'm going to share my ano na may present ah, okay. may, may presentation share ko para mas maintindihan po natin yung 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 Manila itself. Sige. Yes, okay. Tapos sikat na sikat. Going to share my screen. Yan. Nakikita niyo po ba yung aking ano, stream? Okay na po dito. Sige. So, I would like to start first with the Futura by Feel Invest. 
dito solid ang future mo. Okay. Kanina po napag-usapan po natin kung ano ba yung pinagkaiba ng spatial, ano yung pinagkaiba ng futura, anong ibig sabihin ng salitang futura. Well, futura is a Spanish word which means future. So as you can see, yung tagline po natin is dito solid ang future mo. So which means that pag nag-invest ka ng nag-invest ka dito sa ating mga projects, I'm pretty sure moving forward mag appreciate yung value ng ininvest mo. And it's really a good and wise investment. So the Futura Midrise buildings that we're selling is the Midrise buildings, which are the buildings na condo siya, but hindi siya kasing taas ng high rise. And one good thing about this Midrise developments are hindi siya high density or yung population ng mga nakatira dito or the residents are hindi ganun ka-dense yung population. So, Futura develops smart value, mid-rise condominium buildings, offering spacious units that are strategically situated in key locations across the country. So, as you can see on the right side, one of the first Futura projects that we have is the one spatial located in Pasig. So, this is fully completed. Tapos na po siya. May mga residents na po siya din dito. And then, tinitirahan na po lahat ng buildings. And then on the lower right, nandito po ang ating Futura Centro located in Santa Mesa. And then doon sa pinakababa naman is the Futura East Building C. So some of the locations na, 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 na we have a Futura project is in Cavite. We have in Dagupan, Davao, Dumaguete, Iloilo. We also have in Manila, which is yung Futura Centro natin. Novaliches, Pasig. Quezon City, which is where the spatial, yan po ang isang ano natin, location, the Rizal, Valenzuela, and Sambuanga. So ito po, as you can see, the Futura brand has already expanded its reach across the Philippines. So hindi lang Luzon, maybe size and Mindanao din tayong mga projects. Okay, as mentioned a while ago, ano ba yung meron sa Manila ngayon? So to, to share with you guys an update about Manila, it is the capital of the Philippines, which is highly urbanized and second largest city in the Philippines, second to Cebu. And its population is estimated at around 1.7 million Filipinos. The annual growth rate is 0.44% between the year of 2000 to 2010. So ito po yung, ano nang, ito po yung map ng Manila. So you can see nandiyan po yung Sampaloc, nandiyan yung Santa Cruz. Then we have Quiapo, San Miguel, Pandacan, and Santa Mesa. So to give you an update about Santa Mesa, it is one of the 16 districts which connects major cities. So napakaganda nito kasi nasa gitna siya, which is Quezon City, San Juan, Mandaluyo, and Pasig. So which means that if you're situated in Santa Mesa, napaka-accessible po if you're going to go to San Juan, if you're going to go to Mandaluyong, and also in Pasig. So situated siya sa gitna. So, ang ganda ng ganda ng location natin. So, itong project natin is situated not Manila na Manila na South Manila, but the Manila side na nasa gitna, which is nasa gitna. So, Santa Mesa is also well known for its booming rental market brought by numerous apartments, dorms, condominiums, and condominium projects. So, very booming ang ating rental market dito. So, napaka high demand, highly demanded ang ating mga living residential uh, spaces. So in terms of the rental market in this district, it's composed of students and we also have employees who are who would also want to live in Manila because they came or living in far provinces. So napakaganda ng location ng Santa Mesa, Manila. And also to give you a brief uh, update in terms of the city government, na mentioned po kanina ni Ms. Tet and ni Ms. Aved, with regards, sino ba ang mayor natin ngayon? Napakasikat ng mayor natin, si Yorme Isco Moreno. He is the 27th mayor of Manila. Three term, before he, he became the mayor, served as a councillor of the city first congressional district from, 20, from 1998 to 2007. Before being elected as mayor, nag-served din siya as vice mayor of Manila. So alam na alam niya yung galawan sa Manila because he started as vice mayor from 2007 hanggang 2016. Some of the major accomplishments about Isco Moreno, he was, I mean, from his 100 days as being mayor, he was able to, he was able 
to clear yung Quiapo and Divisoria. So very familiar tayo sa areas na yan, Quiapo and Divisoria because of Quiapo Church, and Divisoria because of the Tutuban, the 168. So talaga yun yung bilihan ng mga Pinoy pagdating sa mga gamit. Which are the commercial district previously packed with sidewalk vendors. One of the promises of mayor here is that gusto niya i-organize yung ating mga street vendors na hindi naman nakakalat sa kalsada. And he's trying to decongest. Alam naman po natin when it comes to Manila, nandun po yung talagang convergence ng mga tao. So with this one, the so first 100 days niya, he was able to decongest this street. Lalo na yung recto. And then... In terms of the promise then he wants to bring back the tourism in Manila. So by reviving the capital's cultural heritage, very rich ang Manila dyan, rebuild 47 parks, the plazas, and the historic small city of Intramuros. So other plans of Mayor Isco is talagang maging environmental friendly ang city of Manila by installing solar panels and rainwater collectors on the roof of school buildings for energy conservation. So, kung may kita niyo po, for the first 100 days talaga, may plano talaga, may vision ng ating Yorme for the city of Manila for our fellow Malinenos. Okay. Uh, as I think in terms of the COVID-19 pandemic naman, what are the services or essential health services that was offered to our fellow Filipino people? So, in Manila, si Yorme was, has uh, ordered or has signed the realignment of the budget of 40 million to strengthen, to strengthen the COVID-19 mass testing. So with this one, this will definitely help in terms of knowing kung gaano ba talaga kadami yung mga infected ng mga Filipinos or mga, uh, ating mga kababayan. And with this one, he implemented a drive through testing sites located in Andres Bonifacio Monument and at the Quirino Grandstand. And recently, he opened a walk-in testing facility or testing sites in Hospital ng Sampalo and at GAT Andres Bonifacio Memorial Medical Center. So this will cater to all the Filipinos, regardless if you're living in Manila or living in, for example, Quezon City or Pasig or San Juan. But for this one, this will definitely help and ease out to really know in terms of how many are infected of the COVID virus. And lastly, in terms of the mobile, he also, mobile ano naman, testing or he, what he calls the mobile serology testing located at Pandakan and Tondo. So this will also help test din yung mga ating mga kababayan in terms of controlling the spread, the rapid spread of the virus. So as you can see, ang daming plans ni Mayor and who would not want to live in a lock, in an LGO or in a city na makikita mo talaga na yung mayor mo or yung local official talaga is very proactive in terms of sa mga FB pages niya. So, he's really, he's really talagang uh, sabihin natin talaga nagre-reach out sa kanya mga malinenyos or yung mga kanya mga constituents. So, with this one, kaya ang ganda-ganda ng project natin kasi napasama yung project na to sa ating Yorme na pamamahala ni Mayor Isko Moreno. So without further ado, I think uh, that's uh, a brief background what's happening right now with the city of Manila. So I think we need to already uh, move on to the next uh, presenter, which is Dave Ronquillo, to tell us more about the project, Kusasya mismo located sa Manila and in Santa Mesa. So... Hi, Ms. Ted. Ma'am, nakamute ka po ata, ma'am. Naku, ang dami ko na sinabi po ito, hindi niyo nadinig. <laughs> anyway. Take two, ma'am. Take two. Take two, ano? So, sabi ko nga kay Sol, 
gusto ko malaman sa so 1 million 500 nakasama ko dito na ngayon ng mga kababayan natin sa ibang bansa. Ilan sa inyo ang tumira o nag-aral sa Manila? Chat-chat nyo, ilan sa inyo? Sabihin nyo, ako Manila, ako Manila, ako Manila. I'm very sure, baka kalahati ng 1.5 million ng mga Pilipino nanonood sa atin ngayon ay nagkaroon ng buhay sa Maynila. Tingnan natin, tingnan nga natin kung marami sa kanila. Marami ba? Marami ba? Ayan. Marami. Nadididig nyo na ba ako? Marami ba sa inyo ang nag-aral sa Maynila? I-chat nyo nga. Ganyan katindi ang Maynila. Halos lahat tayo mga Pilipino. Basta mag-aaral, magtatrabaho sa Maynila. ba? Diba? Ayan, lahat kami Manila. Ako Manila. Kami po Manila. Oh, ang dami. Puro Manila, Manila, Manila. Ako Manila. Ang dami talaga. Ako po sa TIP Manila. Oh, di ba? So sabi ko sa inyo eh, ang Manila is part of a Filipino life. Kaya nga may kantang sikat na sikat na Manila, Manila. Ako po sa UST. Naku, sabi ko na sa inyo eh. So that makes this project talaga very, very good investment. Kasi ito yung battlefield ng Philippines, Manila. Kaya nga ngayon medyo maraming COVID eh. <laughs> maraming COVID kasi naman, andyan talaga lahat, di ba? So yun yung maganda. Ayan, ako, walang tigil, walang tigil. Lahat sila ay tumira o nakapag-aral, uh, nagkaroon na experience sa Manila. Kaya nakaka-excite. Uh, so thank you so much sa pagbibigay mo sa amin ng inspirasyon sa Putura Centro. Yan. Meron ba kayong tanong para kay Sol? Anong sabi niyo kung binata pa si Sol? Hindi po yun kasama sa pinapresent natin. Meron ba tanong, Joseph? Meron ba tanong? May nabasa ako dito. Uh, but I think Sir Sol nasagot na to kasi ang tanong dito is ano po ang advantage ng mag-invest sa Manila at doon ka nagbabayad ng tax? Meron ba siyang advantage? May... Right now, in terms of the advantage talaga, kasi medyo scarce ng real estate properties in that area. So, in terms of investing now, so kung gusto nyong makakuha ng real property or uh, an estate in that area, sobrang mahal na ng mga properties ngayon. So, what we're offering are a condominium na magkakaroon ka ng investment and I'm pretty sure in a span of 5 to 10 years, mag appreciate na yung value of the land. Tapos in terms naman sa pagbabayad naman ng real property tax, I think right now, the people of Manila, yung mga Manilenos natin, are really seeing yung mga taxes na binabayad nila. Kasi kita nila yung mga LGUs nila, talagang nagtatrabaho during the COVID pandemic and also yung mga streets talagang ini-improve na nila and yung cleanliness ng Manila talaga. Therefore, I started that. Tama. Now, uh, before I share sa inyo, ano, Ang akin pong pinakaunang investment sa buhay ko ay Manila. Maniwala kahit sa hindi, ang condominium na na-invest ko first ay sa San Lazaro, Manila is only 999,000. Wow! <laughs> so, yung tanongin kung gano'ng katagal yun kasi malalaman yung edad ko. Pero, may mabibili pa po ba kayong 999,000 pesos? Wala na po. Kasi when I bought it pre-selling, and then habang tumatagal, pataas siya ng pataas, di ba? So yun yung sinasabi ni, ni Sir Sol, na talagang maganda mag-invest sa Manila. Kasi nothing can beat Manila. Okay? So, meron pa ba tayong tanong? Ako po is from Manila, nagbibigay ng tax amnesty si Yorme last year. Okay. Nagbibigay pala ng tax amnesty Si Yorme sa mga investor. Tama ba yun? Yan. Okay. So good. So kung ikaw pala ay nag-invest, according dito sa isang comment, may tax amnesty. Pero I think yung amnesty, mga hindi nakapagbayad ng tax. Tama ba? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Pero yung amnesty, is hindi ka nakapagbayad. So bibigyan ka ng chance na uh, maghabol. 
but it doesn't mean you will not pay. No? Okay? So, Sir Sol, ang next natin is ang ating batang-bata, kasamahan nyo din, from our project developer, na siya po ang project assistant yes. ng, ng Kutura Centro Santa Mesa. Sir Sol, sino po ang inyong kasama? Si... Si Mr. Dave Ronquillo, siya po ang ating project development assistant. Yeah. Yeah. Hi, good morning. Hi, hi Dave. Nako, sa, sa mukha pala ni Dave, parang ang saya-saya na niya, di ba? <laughs> well, I'm very sure, Dave, nabibigyan mo kami ng kasing sayang news ng iyong face ngayong gabi. O, di ba? Ang cute ni Dave. Wow, thank you, ma'am. Ano naman eh, hindi naman nadalayo yung... Yung itsura oh, natin. Oh, oh, millennials. Millennials. Oh, 20 years ago. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Sige, ma'am. Share ko lang yung screen. Okay, okay. So yeah, and I good morning. So good morning to our um business uh, project partners and our uh, to our advocates to our project advocates. No, and uh, thank you to uh Sir Sol, to Miss Aiden, and to Miss Chester that uh uh introductory remarks. No, and uh, I would like to introduce myself. No, first. I am uh, Dave Ronquillo. I am the Project Development Assistant of Futura Centro. Yung ngayon kinabata at kinakabunsong project dito sa Santa Mesa, Manila. And of course, ng Futura MRB, no, ng Petrex Building dito sa Metro Manila. And of course, I'm also residing in Santa Mesa, Manila. So I'm really uh, pretty much uh, relate, uh, related dito sa nangyayari dito sa Santa Mesa. And I can attest ko yung mga hindi-discuss ko. It's yung least moment na experience ko rin dito sa Santa Mesa Manila, relating that to my project. So, it's my son Ganina. So, uh, under the Futura brand, which is uh, for the ball segment. And yeah, the tagline is dito, sorry, ng future mo, as you cater this to the market of, uh, of um, uh, startup families and young professionals na pinitulungan natin silang mag-build ng isang solid future You know, ahead to their careers and to their successful lives together with their loved ones and their families. And yeah, as mentioned, uh, marami, na sa aming, marami na kaming projects uh, within Metro Manila no, discussed by Sir Sol. And right now, ngayon, yung pinakabago namin is itong sa Futura. So without further ado, no, ipapakilala ko sa inyo isa-isa kung ano yung mga features, ano yung magandang um, characters and um, bakit yung sabi lang cute and <laughs> napaka-pogi ni Centro. No? So siguro pero rin dahil sa ano rin, project development assistance na joke. Pero sige, discuss natin. So this, uh, I prepared four pillars no, para dito sa project na to, sa Futura Centro, which will be uh, the main point of the discussion for tonight. So first of that I, is um, solid ng convenience, no, which is uh, discussing about the location. So as mentioned, no, kanina ni Sir Sol, no, so Futura Centro is located in Santa Mesa, Manila, no, and Uh, bigyan natin yung etymology yung history ng Manila. So, yan. Ito yung map ng Manila, yung nakared. No? And this is the NCR. And uh, yung Mega Manila. So, first of all, kaya Futura yung pinangalan nga. Kasi nga, Futura is because yung affordable segment. no And of course, um, kaya siya Centro. It's because, alam nyo naman, nabanggit na rin ni Ms. Avin kanina. Centro is a Spanish term for center. no We use this as a project name as it is located in the heart of the Philippines, which is Manila, na uh, nasasabi rin natin na kaya siya hindi lang centro because of capital, it's because na, nasa center siya eh. Parang connected ka sa major cities ng Metro Manila and of course to the other districts ng Manila na minimake sure na talagang within reach yung mga pangangailangan mo. I within reach din kung gusto mo pumunta sa iba't ibang locations and cities on our winning cities ng Metro Manila. No? So in terms of location, this is our vicinity map. No? And kung familiar kayo sa lugar ng Santa Mesa, napaka, uh, napaka-linked nito, napaka-konektado napaka niya sa iba't ibang 
neighboring cities niya and lugar sa Metro Manila, no? And kung makikita nyo, yung green patch dito sa vicinity map natin, that is the Futura Centro, and yung red bin na yun, yun yung dun nakalocate yung Futura Centro, no? And kung mapapansin nyo, no, kalapit lang natin is yung PUP, no? Kaya, ayan, sa mga PUPians dyan, hello, <laughs> shout out. Ayan, so napakalapit natin sa PUP, like 2 to 3 minute walk, nasa PUP ka na. And in front of that, of PUP, is the Santa Mesa Station ng PNR, no? That gives us the first mode of transportation na pwedeng um, na-take advantage ng ating mga, uh, ng ating mga soon to be um, uh, owners, no? mga, mga, may inter, uh, mga interested na bumili sa project, no? Um, or interested na uh, sa project no this this project kasi is napakadami nyang um, mode of transportation isa na nga doon yung PNR and kung alam niyo kung familiar kayo sa PNR this is going from um Tutuban sa Divisoria and alam ko uh, nag-resume na rin yung operations nila up until to San Pedro Laguna no and uh, with the help of build 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 program no ni the president Duterte um i-extend siya up to Bulacan no kasi magkakaroon ng um ng development, di ba? Yun yung plan ng government in to congest yung Metro Manila. That's why they're expanding to north and south. No? Kaya yung uh, extension niya to north, no, to Bulacan, and magkakaroon ng airport sa Bulacan, no? eh, magkakaroon ng panibagong opportunities para sa mga uh, taga Manila din no? na uh, makakapunta sila via PNR. And isa pa, yung nakikita nyo dito is yung proposed Skyway 3, yung Pule Green. No? Ito yung magkakonect naman sa LX and SLEX na sinasabi ni BPWH Secretary Mark Villar na from the three hours na biyahe from the north to south to south no ma, 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 ma shorten na siya ng proposed ng proposed skyway 3 from 3 hours to 15 to 30 minutes no ganun na lang daw kabilis yung biyahe and fortunate tayo na tayo mga taga Manila no na yung access point isa sa mga exit or entrance or access point ng skyway 3 is uh, almost 2 kilometers away lang sa project natin na 1 jeep away lang no Yan yung uh, Aurora Boulevard uh, access point. Nandito siya sa may Araneta Avenue no malapit sa Santa, SM Santa Mesa. So, ito, itong Skyway 3, itong connection to, magkikreate siya ng mga panibagong route, mga transportation route, kagaya ng Santa Mesa to Balintawak, Santa Mesa to Monumento, and of course, to South, Santa Mesa to Makati, so on and so forth. And of course, andyan din yung LRT station natin kung gusto niyo pumunta ng San Juan, Marikina, Pasig, or even to Quezon City, no? pwede tayong pumunta no, via Pureza LRT station in Vimapa na both 1.5 kilometers away from the project na one tricycle away lang. And yun, eh, itong build, build, build project is um, mag i extend nila yung LRT2 up to Rizal no? na magkakreate ka ng uh, hindi na mahihirapan yung mga taga Metro Manila na mag-travel from Metro Manila to Rizal it's because may extension, magkakaroon siya ng extension up to Rizal no? and Kung hindi kayo familiar, yung LRT is connected to LRT1. No, na sinasabi na yung LRT1 daw, i-extend naman to, um, to Cavite. No? So from Quezon City to Cavite na yung LRT1. And connected din yung LRT2 sa MRT3. No? Kaya mas madali pumunta sa Makati to Quezon City. No? And itong MRT3 is i-extend din up to Bulacan. No? So napakarami opportunities. Kaya hindi porket nasa center tayo parang nasa kawalan tayo, kundi parang nabigyan tayo ng panibagong mga opportunities na kailangan natin i-take advantage. And napakalapit na sa neighboring cities kagaya ng Quezon City to Aurora Boulevard, Araneta Avenue, pwede kang pumunta baya Kalaoka, sa to Kalaokan, to Quezon City, and then to San Juan, no? and then yung N. Domingo, and then to Shaw Boulevard, pwede kang pumunta baya Pasig City, at to Pasig City, to Mandaluyong City, and of course, kung gusto pumunta sa Makati, pwede rin going south, napakonected ng um pro, ng uh, Santa Mesa to that's uh places. Kaya itong Santa Mesa ako rin napaka-advantageous and isa siya sa mga um, greatest uh, asset ng project na to na strategically located siya dito sa Santa Mesa. And alam naman natin ngayong COVID no, alam naman natin na uh, sa mga nagbabalak na mag-move in sa mga panibago nilang um uh, uh, tahanan, di ba? Pinag-iisip pa nila na kailangan within reach essential sila, within reach yung hospitals, uh, malapit sa trabaho nila or merong access sa trabaho nila. No? Masaya po natin sa Futura Centro po, no? napakalapit din po ng mga uh, una ng mga essentials natin. No? Meron tayong markets and malls na malapit. Andun yung Pure Gold Santa Mesa, Altura Wet Market na parehong 5-minute drive uh, away lang from 
our project, no? And then SM Santa Mesa, which is 7 minutes drive or 1.8 kilometers away, na katapat noon is yung Isitan um Bimapa, no, na supermarket din. Yun itap nagtahan na uh, around 8 minutes drive lang and of course yung save more nagtahan. And then ito, alam ko na sama si Mistet, no, napakarami nag-aral sa atin sa Maynila, no. Na kahit uh, maram sa atin yung opportunities natin no iba sa atin nagpupunta ng Manila daw to find uh, great opportunities no kaya kasi andito yung mga ilang sa mga prime schools and prestigious schools no gaya ng PUP di ba ayan ako rin proud PUP and din ako yung Iris yung PUP sobrang katabi din natin no and then Arellano JRU UARM and then ito pa yung mga notable schools kaya namin narinig ako ng itong mga schools sa to eh di ba yung CEU CCP, yung San Beda, Cal, eh, San Beda University, uh, uh, College of Holy Spirit, yung LACO, NU, and then yung UE, FEU, tsaka TIP, di ba? Napakaraming schools na nandito sa Metro Manila. Kaya napakarami rin nagpupunta ang mga studyante na nag-aaral dito. And of course, idagdag din natin dyan yung Review Center Hub na nasa Morayta and Espanya na around 12-minute drive lang yung layo from Futura Centro. No? Ito, tama si Ms. Tet, na napakaraming students and Napakaraming reviewees no, ng mga review centers na napupunta from uh, different provinces to to Manila para mag-aral. And that's why napaka-booming din ng rental market dito sa Manila, no, especially in Santa Mesa. Ako, taga Santa Mesa ako and believe me or not, napakaraming students and napakaraming reviewees na nandito na rin sa Manila na nagkinili mag-stay and mag-work and umuwi oftenly uh, sa province o sa lugar nila ang pinili nilang mag-rent or mag, uh, maghanap ng, bumili ng um, unit dito sa Manila. And that, uh, yun yung nag, uh, nagpa-boom eh dun sa rental market ng Manila. Itong mga ganitong klaseng market na tinatap din natin. And then of course, kayong COVID, napakahalaga rin. Of course, yung, early, yung mga uh, healthcare institutions natin, kagaya ng Our Lady of Lourdes Hospital, yung De Ocampo Memorial Medical Center, yung UERM, USD Hospital, and of course, yung Santa Ana Hospital na binuksan na nga yung testing facility nila na sinertifikahan ng DOH na level 3 na, no, na uh, ini-ensure na malapit sa atin and within which may pangangailangan tayo sa healthcare institutions and sa uh, related to health natin. No. And of course, yung mga commercial and business hubs na malapit sa atin, which is yung, uh, first of all, yung Divisoria na sabi nga ni Sir Sol, di ba, yung one-stop thrift shop ng mga Pinoy na 19 minutes away, no? And then yung Cubao, Quezon City na one LRT away or one jeep away. And then Shaw Boulevard and Bonnie Mandaluyong. Pwede tayong via jeep pumunta dyan or pwede LRT2 and then MRT, no? And then yung BGC, pwede tayong magpunta sa PNR. Uh, and of course, kung mabubuksan na yung um, Skyway 3, mas mapapadali yung pag-travel natin to South, no? Kasi mas mabilis and mas uh, suabe na yung travel natin. Yun, and din yung sinasabi natin na hindi porket nasa affordable segment ang futura, no? eh, may mga kinocompromise tayong factors. No? Pero in fact, no, talagang ibinibigay natin sa mga young professionals and startup families yung worth ng pera na pinaghihirapan nila. And next natin sa pillars natin, so pillar number two is solid ang space and quality. Uh, dito pag-uusapan na natin yung uh, in-depth na yung tungkol sa project. So this is the Futura Centro building, no? ito yung building A. And then in total muna, in general, no? meron tayong project area na 7,072 square meters or 0.7 hectares. And then number of units, we have a total of 605 units and breaking down meron tayong building A, which is 330 units. And then building B is 275 units na uh, both buildings have uh, 12 floors no? with basement and uh, roof deck, which is yung um, 12 floors, uh, 12 floors natin is 11 lang yung residential and then yung ground natin is intended for parking. So meron tayong basement parking and then ground parking. So lahat ng product natin, yung product mix natin, lahat po yan ay 2 bedroom no? in average of 32 square meters and modern minimalist yung steam natin. And then launch date was discussed by Sir Sol kanina, nilunch namin yung building A uh, around 4th quarter in 2019 and then yung building B is nilunch namin same then fourth quarter naman 2020. And then going um, in, in detail na in detail naman no to building A uh, number of units that discussed 330 residential units and 
two bedroom with modern minimalist. The parking units, my time basement parking na 56 units. And then ground din is same with 56 units. And my time street parking na dalawang flat, which is, which is yung isa dun is for PWD. And then ang price range natin ngayon for TLP is around 3.4 million to 3.6 million or around 61.8 thousand dollars or and 65.5 thousand dollars. And the turnover date natin for here is first half ng 2023. For building B, um, yon 275 residential units. And then ang um, ano naman mas konti naman yung ano niya parking units niya. So meron tayo sa basement for 46 parking slots. Ground is 46 parking slots. Street is two. Uh, parking slots then and then intended for PWD nga isa. And then price range natin, ang projected natin upon launch natin is nasa 3.6 to 3.8 or around $6,000 or to $70,000. And then turnover, turnover date natin is uh, second half of 2022. So uh, with, with regards to our view orientation naman, ito naman yung site development plan natin. So may kita nyo, yan yung dalawang buildings natin, no? And para kung familiar kayo, I know yung, uh, yung marami sa inyo nakapunta na ng Santa Mesa, nakapunta na ng PUP, no? Para ma-familiar kayo, ito yung building, ito yung Futura Centro. So meron tayong dalawang building dyan, which is yung building A and B, no? Na nasa gitna nila is yung um, amenity natin. Yung, yun nga yung kinaganda natin sa mga uh, as mid-rise building, no? Mas marami tayong space na um, para mag-move and to make our activities, no? And kung mapapansin nyo, dyan sa building A, yung nasa likod niya is yung fence or yung Manila Skyline View. And yung building B naman is yung likod niya is yung Maui Oasis. So kung gagawin kayo ng Santa Mesa or um, kung familiar kayo sa, sa Santa Mesa or sa PUP, di ba? Pag pumunta kayo ng PUP, katabi ng PUP is yung Maui Oasis. And yung katabi ng Maui Oasis is, is yung, yung spine road na nakikita nyo dito. Yan to, itong kalsada na to. And then right after the spine road is yung Futura Center na. So, si Maui Oasis is projected under Phil and Westland. So, pag uh, familiar kayo, may imagine nyo or nagpunta kayo sa PUP. No? Or pag nakita nyo sa Google Maps, di ba? Nakita naman sa Google Maps na uh, Street View. No? Pwede nyo siya makita doon kung nasaan located yung project natin. Nakapin naman kami sa Google Maps. No? Kahit wala pa kaming uh, constructed building, nakapin na kami sa Google Maps yung Futura Center. So, pwede nyo siyang search kung saan siya located uh, exactly doon sa um, location natin. And other project components natin, meron tayong meter centers for building A and B. May fire domestic tank tayo, fire and domestic tank. And then meron tayong smoking area. And then yung SPP natin, yung sewer, sewer uh, treatment plant. MRF is materials recovery facility. And then yung pet zone natin. Yung pet zone po natin, no, as much as we want to uh, advocate din na uh, pet friendly yung community natin. Pero right now, siya pinirestrict din natin yung uh, pets natin sa mga um, uh, one pet, one small pet per unit kasi siyempre hindi natin pwedeng i-compromise din yung, yung uh, peace, uh, peace, uh, peaceful community that we're trying to build in Futura Centro. No? And siyempre yung one small pet po na yun, yun po yung mga dogs, yung cats. Baka po kasi pag sabi ko one small pet, no, isang malis na ahas. No? Baka pwede po gano'n, hindi po pwede gano'n. So, yung one small pet, yung mga small dogs and small cats, no? gano'n yung mga inaalaw natin. Pero upon establishment of the condo corp, no? doon tayo magkakaroon ng further discussion kung paano yung magiging restrictions natin and regulations in regards to the pet zone and other project components natin as well. And, syempre, ito yung amenities natin. So, andyan yung clubhouse, na nasa loob ng clubhouse is yung indoor gym and then yung... Um, admin office, no? and then yung adult and kiddie pools, function room na kung saan pwede tayong mag-meet or mag-conduct uh, ng event. No? And then of course, yung play area natin for our baguettes and chicketing. And then yung gazebo natin or yung welcoming pad kung saan pag may bisita tayo, pwede dyan tayo mag-sikahan or pwede, tayo, pwede dyan muna maghintay yung bisita habang hinihintay tayo. And of course, yun yung kinaganda natin as mid-rise building, no? may mga green patches tayo. And marami tayong space no, for sitting areas, for our activities, no, na pwede, pwede mag-bond yung mga family and friends no, pag nandiyan dito tayo sa um, project natin no, soon. And kung gusto nyo ma-visualize kung anong klase ba, anong itsura ba ng amenities natin, pag natayo na siya, ito yung artist illustration or artist perspective ng, um, ng amenity natin. So dito sa left, kung nakikita nyo, andyan yung 
sa clubhouse which is andyan yung indoor gym sa admin office and then yan yung adult activity pool and then yung um yung fashion room and then yung nakikita niyo sa likod yun yung um building A natin na kung mapapansin niyo um yun yung kalapit sa amenity din natin and then yung uh, sitting areas nandiyan din sa tabi ng mga amenities natin so maraming mga maraming mga um uh, lugar na pwedeng pag sa uh, usapan or pwedeng pagbandingan ng mga friends and family ayan ayan ay yung, yung other angle natin and of course it, uh, dalawa sa pinaka advantage din pag nag anong project na to is una our boost by or yung petaw natin na reinforce concrete system na kung saan no sinasabi natin na itong boost by is six, uh, four times six times third year than the usual hollow block and i fish and mas din yung mga uh, tin to none or yung mga column or uh, column natin dito sa bawat unit no? so there's more space na pwede nating uh, ma-maximize and ma-enjoy and of course no as mentioned gadi main is even no mas mabilis na yung internet connectivity ng project natin dahil nga fiber ready na yung mga projects natin pag sa turnover na so big sabihin mas um, greater yung bandwidth ng uh, fiber no mas mabilis na yung connection natin no lalo na kasi di ba as mentioned nga kanina syempre um pag nag-iisip tayo ng lilipatan natin hindi na natin kino-consider ngayon din yung mga essentials natin yung um uh, healthcare no ini in, sinasama rin natin sa list natin yung mga may signal ba dito malakas pa signal dito or uh, okay ba yung wifi dito ganyan kasi right now di ba hindi natin sure kung ano yung magiging course natin in the next few years no kung some of us will stay remote uh, remotely working yung iba sa atin mag-online class pa ba no kaya mahalaga din yung internet connectivity dito sa sa atin di ba and uh, as mentioned nga ito yung project make a uh, product mix natin so meron tayong 32 square meters na two bedroom unit no so ito yung axonometric view natin kung makikita nyo wala since puhos na tayo ito yung sinasabi ko kanina na wala tayong mga makakapal na columns na nasa dingding kasi nga buhos yung ginamit natin yung reinforced concrete system and then to break that down no sa so bedroom one meron tayong seven square meters no and master bedroom is eight square meters toilet and bath is four square meters Dining living kitchen and uh, dining living kitchen combined is 13 square meters. No, that's a total of average of 32 square meters. And for our tandem, naman, ito naman yung tandem units natin. No, yung tandem units natin, the number natin na ito po ay upon request. No, hindi po siya basta decision na gusto ko tandem. Kaya hindi po ganon. No, nagpapasa po tayo ng letter sa management or sa fill in list na we intend to buy a tandem unit. Uh, tandem units, no, na um yun yung ano natin letter of uh, intent natin so for building A meron tayong uh, meron tayong uh, eight units na for tandem no for uh, per floor so yung units 5 and 6 units 10 and 11 21 and 22 26 and 27 yun po yung tandemable units per floor mahalaga po yung letter kasi yun po yung fino forward natin sa engineer natin eh na yun po yung sinasabi natin na ini-inform natin sila na meron po tayong for tandem, no? kailangan natin i-consider yung mga ganito sa pag nag-construct na tayo para uh, napo-foresee nila kung ano yung mga dapat yung napa-plan out nila doon. And then for building B naman, so meron tayong uh, units 3 and 4, units 8 and 9, units 16 and 17, units 23 and 24. And then for our floor layout for building A, ito yan. Ito na siya. So kung may kita nyo, no? sa building A no uh, around nasa 30 units five per floor and meron tayong dalawang uh, dalawang service elevators no na yung elevator 1 which is yung nasa um, entrance malapit sa entrance yan po ay from from ground to uh, to 12 no and then yung ano naman natin yung um ay da, yung elevator 1 natin is from basement to roof deck and then yung elevator 2 which is yung katabi ng base ang elevator 1 is from ground to 12 floor. No? So, yung elevator one po yung from basement to roof deck. So, ayan. Kung may kita nyo, kung po yung dalawang service elevators, andun po yung amenities yun natin. And then, sa likod, yun yung facing pen. Yung mga naka-highlight ng yellow, yun naman po yung mga for tandem units natin na uh, pre-selected natin na uh, sinasabi natin na pag intended ni buyer bumili, is yung papasok siya ng letter. 
to us. For building B naman, mas konti. So we have 25 units per floor, no? So same then, ganun din yung uh, setup ng elevator niya. And then for the both uh, buildings, yung floor layout natin is for it hotel corridor type. No? So again, yung units are facing each other. So ang um, unit specs natin for um, for our unit, so for our bedroom, for our floor, we have ceramic tiles. For walls, we have ayun, reinforced concrete, smooth paint finish, gypsum board, for partition, no? And then, ang, ang anal namin, provision namin for air condition is window type. No? Kasi kinoconsider natin, no, pagdating sa building, of course, kinoconsider din natin yung load ng building. Kaya, inaalaw lang din natin yung window type air conditioner. Uh, Magsalagay kami ng provision for that. And then, ceiling is plain cement painted. Yun yung for bedroom natin. And then, for dining living area, no, meron tayong ceramic tiles, the same with bedroom, reinforced concrete, smooth paint finish, plain cement painted. Yun yung for dining living area natin. Same sa with our bedroom. And then, our kitchen area, ito yung floor natin is beautified ceramic tiles. Yung walls natin is reinforced concrete, no, smooth paint finish. Yung ceiling natin is plain cement painted. Counter is uh, homogeneous style countertop with homogeneous style dashboard. And then the faucet natin, kung nakikita nyo rin sa kitchen, is single lever, kitchen faucet, chrome plated. And then yung sink natin is polished stainless steel, single bowl sink. And then lastly, for our toilet and bath, no, yung, yung floor natin ceramic tiles, yung walls natin ceramic tiles full height. So yung sabihin from the floor to ceiling, no, yun yung um, full height. And then ceiling is from is, is, uh, fiber cement board, painted. And then shower set natin is wall bib top with manual diverter and hand shower. And then the fixture sa kasama for toilet and bath is yung soap holder na nakamount na, pati yung tissue holder. And then meron tayong lavatory na wall hang. And then outlet uh, toilet no, na complete with accessory siya. So that's the second. No? So kung may kita nyo, habang na discuss natin. No? So na pa, siguro napaisa din kayo na maka hindi ito basta affordable lang na hindi ito pinag-isipan. Diba? Talagang kinoconsider natin yung worth, yung yung hard-earned money ng mga um, Filipinos na gustong uh, na nagaano din sa putura. No? Kasi yun nga yung pinikita natin pro, uh, market is yung mga uh, startup families and young professionals. So for our third pillar naman, ito yung solid ang safety. No? Kasi, syempre, ay uh, yun yung sinabi ni Mr. D. Kaya na, di ba? Safe and secure, di ba? So, gusto natin masabi rin na yung Futura Center, hindi lang siya basta maganda yung location, hindi lang basta maganda yung quality, no? hindi lang basta maganda yung mga project components, yung unit specifications, no? Gusto rin natin na since hard-earned money ito, di ba? Maramdaman din ng mga um, soon-to-be homeowners natin yung um, yung safe and secured na community, no? So, kaya ito yung mga um, um, yung components no so meron tayong guard house na 24 hours yan no active yan and then 24 hours security per building and then meron tayong interconnected basement and perimeter fence no? and kung hindi pa po kayo kompensado no around 3 to 5 minute walk meron pong barangay hall no? for the barangay hall ng barangay 630 no Santa Mesa Manila no? na 24/7 po active no hindi lang siya basta barangay hall for Futura Centro para barangay hall sa nang um, ng Barangay 630 na mag ensure na safe and secure yung community ng Barangay 630. So, adding to the security ng Futura na ito provide, no, meron pang security outside na i-ensure din yung peaceful community within the clan. Yun. So, down to our last ano, um, pillar, no, and alam ko maraming nag- maraming excited din dito sa part na to kasi ito yung isa sa mga highlight. Eh. Parang mag-isip tayo, wow, okay, sige. Pero bakit, bakit sulit na investment? Ganyan. So yung last pillar natin. Sulit na investment. So in terms of our payment terms, ito yung payment terms namin for, um, for Futura Centro. No? So spot cash, no? spot payment, no? meron kaming dalawang option dyan. So upon reservation, mag spot payment ka na meron kang 8% discount on the total list price. Or kung discount or kung within 30 days mo babayaran yung spot payment, that's uh, 5% PLT discount or total list price discount. And then ang standard natin is yung bank financing or bank financing firm approver or, or BFFA na 1585, which is 15% down payment payable in 30 months, 85% payable uh, up to 15 years with 10% interest rate. And then 
um, kung balak nyo mag-spot PT sa BFFA nyo, no, meron tayong discount gun na yung 15% PT nyo, no, bin-discount natin ng 3% pag um, nag-spot PT kayo. And then, meron tayong deferred cash din, no, which is yung total contract price, no, na divide lang natin by 30 months. Now, that's a deferred cash. And ito yung standard reservation fee natin. No? For residential unit, we have a 20,000 reservation fee no na that's roughly around 363 dollars and then for parking slots naman meron kaming 10,000 standard reservation fee for around 181 um dollars or 183 dollars and we're really happy to tell you na meron kaming promo no meron kami extended DP promo for our bank financing firm approval or BFFA na kung saan yung 15% DP payable natin for 30 months no which is yung regular firm uh, term payment natin. I-extend natin yung DP term natin for 36 months. No? And yung 85% is up to 15 years pa rin. No? With uh, 10% interest rate. No? And this promo runs to August 31, 2020. No? So, talagang magandang opportunity to kasi lalo ngayon, mas matutulungan tayo sa uh, payment natin. No? Kaya ito, pakikina natin yung, um, com, uh, yung comparison with it natin. Kung may kita nyo sa sample computation natin, we have the uh, BFFA, the regular term, which is a 30 months, and then the BFFA promo term, which is a 36 months. No? So, our nine total is price of 3.4 million. Adding to that is the miscellaneous fee na 5%, and then bank fee na 4%, and then our time VAT na 12% for the battable units. No? So, adding to that, that's the TCP. And then uh, for the net TCP, no, kailangan natin kunin yung turnover fee na 1.12% na total list price and then the processing fee which is 15,000. So adding the uh, turnover fee and processing fee to TCP, no, that will give us the net TCP. So kung meron tayong 3.4 uh, million na total list price so yung net TCP natin around uh, 4.1 or 4.2 na nasa 75 uh, to 76,000 dollars so ganun yung net TCP natin. And then kunin mo yung 15% TCP noon no, less the reservation fee, that will be the DP payable na. Ito dito tayong magkakaiba ngayon for the terms na um, natin. Na meron tayong regular term which is in the promo term. Kung so, may kita nyo, yung monthly down payment natin for 30 months is around 21,681 or 22,000. No? That's around 394 or $400. Parang and then for 36 months naman, ito Huwaba siya, nasa 18,000 lang siya. So, regularly, kung sa centro, yung promo term natin, nagyaroon siya sa 17,000 to 18,000 per month. So, that's uh, roughly around 330 dollars. No? Ganun yung binaba niya compared sa regular term na 30 months. And then yan, balance na, three bank, 10% per year. So, nakita niyo kung gaano yung binaba ng um, DP per month natin, DP ang otari per month. No, when it comes to our promo term na 36 months. And ito yung projected association cost namin pagdating ng 2023 no, na turnover ng project. No. So, sa residential unit, we have a 68.19 per square meter. For street parking is 11.42 square meter. And then, for our covered parking, that's 12.48 per square meter. Yun yung projected. No. So, i-emphasize na na projected is because Pag-a-tay ng 2020, this may vary. Kasi mamaya, baka may makakita, no? mamaya abangan nila, 2020, siguro kami, baka din naman 68.19 to ha, 68.30 na ganyan. So, this is projected po. No? So, kung pwedeng mag-iba, mag-vary po ito. No? Uh, yun. So, ito yun lang yung projected para aware din tayo kung gaano yung range natin ng association juice natin for our projects for Futura. So, ang malaking tanong dyan is why invest in Futura? Okay, sa haba ng discussion, I'm sure marami na rin naglalaro ng tanong sa isip nyo and um, sa mga business partners natin and advocates natin, marami na naglalaro sa isip nyo. Pero meron akong lima na reasons why invest in Futura. So our first, in, uh, first reason is location. So una, syempre, kung nakita nyo yung location kayo na, di ba? Tagal natin na sa select sa location kayo na. Napaka-accessible ng Santa Mesa no, to the cities in Metro Manila in nearby districts. Talaga kung gusto mong pumunta ng Cubao, kung may magaya kang kaibigan sa Cubao, 1LRT lang, or 1GIP. Kung pumunta ng San Juan, 
jeep, di ba? May uray pumunta ng jeep or bus. Di ba? Ganun ka-accessible yung lugar ng Santa Mesa na pwede ka pumunta sa ibang lugar na hindi ka maubusan ng options ng transportation. And with the help of the Build Build Program na uh, ginagawa ngayon, mas mapabilis na magiging suave at maraming choices tayo para sa ating transport, sa transportation. Second for that location is home to premier hospitals, no? educational institutions. No? Nakita natin sa hospitals, nandito yung sa Manila, nandito yung uh, Fabella Hospital, nandito yung Sereyes Memorial Medical Center, yung Tanlasan Hospital, na sikat na sikat pag may nakagat na aso, di ba? And then, yung, andun yung USC Hospital, yung UARM, yung napakaraming uh, malapit na hospital dito sa Manila. And educational institutions na Sinabi niya pa, di ba, napakaraming institution dito sa Manila na nag-aaral ng mga kabataan natin dito na tumag-graduate sa mga premier education institutions natin. Government agencies, premier, asan ba Malacanang? Nasa Manila, di ba? Andito rin yung DOA, andito yung DOJ. And napakaraming government agencies dito na mas mapapalapit sa atin yung kung may concerns tayo, kung gusto natin mag-work, di ba? And then of course, yung art and culture haven natin, di ba? Andito ang intramuros. Andito ang, andito ang National Museum, andito ang Planetarium, ang Luneta, andito ang, um, andito ang maraming museum, andito yung Araceros Park, Araceros Zoo, yung Manila Zoo, diba? So napaka-advantageous uh, ng Manila, napaka-exciting and napaka-adventurous dito sa Manila. And I'm sure, kaya nasabi ko na isa to sa mga advantage natin pag nasa location. And of course, near to CBD, yung si Bacubao, Shaw, um boni de ba and commercial space and leases a places di ba na sabi ko kayo na yung mga art and culture haven natin napakaraming malapit dito and as discussed by sir so you forward governance executed by the new head of the city nakita naman natin na for the past few months with the covid-19 response no nakita na natin na um uh, lagi na sa si Isko Moreno na mga nangungunang government officials pagdating sa pagresponde sa um covid-19 and the uh, uh dito yung ano pa um initiative na magkaroon ng uh, drive through testing ganyan and yung mga initiative niya na mag-collate and mag-collect ng funds para tulungan yung mga batang manilenyo for that no? and of course na pagandahin yung Manila that what uh, yun yung magpapaganda so at magpapa-excite no kaya magandang tumira sa Manila. And I, I, I know, alam niyo naman na batid niyo na nasimula na ito ni Isko Moreno sa uh, uh, pag-ilinis ng seats, di ba, na mag-alagay ng mga ilaw. And I think napaka-advantageous na lang. And of course, second reason para mag-invest sa Futura, uh, Futura Center is yung Build, Build, Build program. Nakita naman natin kayo na, diniscuss ko na with the extension, parang lahat, parang yung mga name na nasa Build, 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 parang talagang benef- beneficial si Centro kasi in to Santa Mesa to Metro Manila the Skyway si dadaan na Santa Mesa yung MR- MRT3 extension via LRT2 pwede ka kumunek di ba? pwede ka makunta ng Bulacan or kung ayaw mo ng LRT2 pwede ka ng PNR to Bulacan and LRT2 extension to Rizal which is, alam naman natin ang Rizal is the gateway to the south and this will help na um, mag-create ng mga panibagong opportunities para sa mga aga Manila sa Santa Mesa. Eh kung di kayo familiar no, ito yung mga mode of transportation na meron sa Santa Mesa. So may time PNR no, as discussed no, flying to the route of, route of Manila, Pasay, Makati, Taguig, Mintinlupa, and Laguna. Wow, di ba? And adding to that, pag in-extend po yung PNR to North, no, mag, uh, magkakaroon siya to uh, Kaloocan, to Valenzuela, and then to Bulacan. And then yung second, ito kung di nyo pa narinig, sana familiar kayo, pero ay, I know yung mga taga-PUP familiar dito, just yung MMDA Pasig River Ferry, no? na kung ayaw nyo mag-travel through land, no? mag-travel kayo through water, no? na walang traffic, mabilis ka, di ba? Kaso ito naman is from Pasig, nandalo yung Makati, Manila lang. And of course, LRT2 na i-extend nga to Rizal, and then of course, yung mga jeepneys natin to Santa Mesa, to Shaw, to Boni, to Pasig, to Kalaokan, to Cubao, to Quezon City, to Recto Divisoria, Quiapo, to San Juan, and then um yung isa pa is yung bus no which is yung Santa Mesa to Paytay to Rizal to Quiapo uh, adding to that na is the extension which is 
yung uh, sa build 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 um first is the skyway three no that will connect Netflix and next and next no discuss na this will shorten the length uh, this this will shorten the travel time from three hours to fifteen minutes to twenty minutes thirty minutes that's per um secretary Mark Villar and then yung nabil sa eight new route and then ito yung mga na discuss ko rin kanina and then right now kung um uh, you're following secretary Mark Villar in FP you will also see that uh the the development the progress you know of the skyway stage three you know and then before parang ayan uh, parang skeleton pa lang siya before pero right now parang nakikita na natin no we can see kung paano yung magiging latag niya in the, in the in the metro manila and that's a great um development for us and of course we can see how um this will help no decongest the metro manila no by developing uh, the the north and south of the metro manila which Uh, create no, or which compose the greater metro Manila. And then, kung ano kayo, kung gusto nyo ng summary, I made a summary with kung ano man yung uh, mode of transportation na pwede nyo puntahan. So, andun yung ibang ibang city, andun yung mode of transportation, yung mga pwede nyo puntahan. No? So, nakita nyo napaka accessible ng no, Santa Mesa to different cities, to different uh, to, to, to provinces no, when it comes to the extension, when it comes to the build, build, build program achievement na ng government. Yon, and then to the third, no, down to the third um, reason to why invest in Futura Centro, it is the project affordability. If you are not familiar in Santa Mesa, as mentioned by Sir Sol uh, earlier, in Santa Mesa or in Manila, there is already a scarcity in um, in the projects, no? kaya napakamamahal na rin ng mga uh, projects na nandito. And as Futuro Centro, a new game player in the market, no, in the Santa, in Santa Mesa area, no, he became the most affordable within the area. So considering if you're looking at the table here in um, in my screen, so you will see that first, we are the largest in terms of land area. No? Futuro Centro has a 0.7 hectares no, compared to Condo A and Condo B, which is Condo A is already an RFO, an RF ready for occupancy. It only has... Um, 0.36 hectares, and then condo B naman is 0.5 hectares, no? And then, uh, two bedroom unit size, no? 32 square meters for condo E and B, 56 and uh, 48 respectively. And also, we are the most affordable residential in um, in terms of reservation fee. Compared to condo A and condo B, no? Mas pura tayo. We only have a standard reg- uh, reservation fee of 20,000. That's around 364 dollars compared to condo A which is around uh, 35,000 or 636 dollars and condo B 25,000 or 465 dollars. ECP, no, we only have 4.1 million but, um, cheaper compared to condo A and condo B no, na, na converting to dollars 75,000 dollars. For condo A that's 7.4 million or around 135,000 dollars and condo B is 7.7 Per hundred and forty thousand dollars, and if we're going to get the price per square meters, no, in terms of uh, of that aspect, we're still the um, affordable within that range. So we only have hundred and twenty-five thousand per square meter, or around two point two thousand, two point two thousand dollars. No, con- uh, comparing that to the A, around hundred thirty thousand per square meters, or two point two thousand dollars, and then for condo B, that's around one hundred sixty thousand. Uh, per square meter is around three thousand dollars. And for DP term, no, we only, uh, right now, diba, in Futura Centro, we, we have fifteen percent for thirty six months. And for Condo A, na RFO na yun na, simply ten percent twelve months. And then for Condo B, is uh, pre-selling pa to it. So twenty percent in forty eight months. But still, in terms of DP term or DP amount, tayo pa rin ang pinakamura with eighteen thousand per month compared to uh, to other. Um, competitor within the area. So we condo A, $55,000 per month or $100,000 or $1,000. And then we condo B, $24,000 per month or $437,000. That's $15,000 for 36 months. Diba? Kaya masabi natin na Futura is still affordable. No, affordable within that area. And uh, second to the last is our rental rate. So um, this 2020, no, all years projected a 7.5% annual growth no for uh, metro manila for 2020 to 2022 so for 
quarter for 2019 colliers recorded 1,140 per square meters uh, peso na rental rate per month at maximum. That's $22. No? And projecting that up until 2020 with annual growth of 7.5%. At quarter four of 2022 monthly rental rate will be at 1,417 pesos per square meter. So 51,000 per month. No? So talagang may opportunity you know, in terms of this in Manila then no? we have the opportunity because of the rental rate, no, it has been projected that uh, may growth, no, in this in this area. That's seven point five percent annual growth. In kung mapapansin yun, yes, um, may mga nakalabing kami mga rental rate na mga condominium si the area. So for condo, e about for bare unit, no, for that long bare unit, for fully furnished, that's thirteen thousand per month, so two hundred thirty six dollars. For condo B, naman, in Santa Mesa pa rin, it's 15,000 per month, no, pag bare unit or $273. And then for condo B, 20,000 per month or $364. And then for condo C, is fully furnished na uh, 30,000 uh, pesos per month. That's $545. And in terms of value appreciation, yes, uh, mataas yung value appreciation ng project natin. No? So right now, Centro is selling at uh, 107,197 pesos per square meter, no. Just a 10% increase from its 2019 launch price, no. But projecting that, basing on that launching price, uh, basing on that price increase, no. By 2023, we're looking at 130,000 per square meter, 26% from its launch price, no. Kaya, yung mga buibili ngayon uh, sa Futura Centro, no, Napakalaking appreciation yung matanggap ng value ng property nila pagdating ng 5 years or 10 years. Ako na sinasabi nila sir. So that's a great uh, appreciation and ROI to our project or to our um, clients. Kaya yun yung sinasabi natin na dapat ma-bear in mind natin yung limang reasons na yun kung bakit natin kailangan kung invest to why to invest in Futura Center. Because first of location, first of the build, build, build program, the project's affordability, the rental rate and of course the property value of change. So, yun. So with that, no, yung four pillars natin, tandaan din natin ng solid and convenience, no, na sa futura, no, di natin kinoconsider, di natin kinocompromise yung mga ganito. So, so solid and convenience, no, with the location, solid and space at quality, solid and safety, solid na investment. So with that, I end that with you. So that's Futura Centro. I am Dave Ronquillo, the project development assistant for Futura Centro. Thank you. Thank you, Versus Partners and Advocates. Thank you. Wow! Ito na! Kantahan mo na tayo kasi dami na natutulang kay Dave! Vanilla, I'm coming home. Yan! Kita mo na tayo mga kababayan sa abroad. San Francisco. O Dave, kailangan kantahan mo naman kami ngayon. <laughs> Baka umulan, ma'am. <laughs> okay, sabay-sabay tayo! Hinahanap, hanap kita, ma'am. Grabe, ang saya. And remember, ang team song ng 2019 SEA Games ay walang iba kundi Manila, Manila. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, wala na eh. Without further ado, lahat na yata ng ating question ay nasagot. Isa lang naman ang... Isa lang. Manila to. There's no place like... <laughs> it's Manila. It's ganun lang, no? So, um, siguro ang ano ko lang, babe, uh, ang medyo nakita ko lang is yung payment term niya, mababa kasi yung ating down payment, which is only 10%, no? And then, because of pandemic, we even stretched it to three years at zero interest. Tama? Tama, no? 36 months. Yeah. So, 36 months. So, ibig sabihin ito, yung balance natin after 36 months or three years is 90%. No? Ay, magbali 15% yung BP po. Tapos, 85 is yung balance. Yes. 15% yung balance. So, kung nakikita nyo kanina, yung balance na kung mag-15 years is nasa 37,000 more or less. Tama? Yes, ma'am. So, since tayo naman ay mga overseas Filipino, 
if you wanted to ensure na gusto nyo mas safe, di ba? Hindi kayo aabot sa ganong kalaki monthly, pwede natin dagdagan siguro yung ating uh, down payment because it's three years without interest. So, tayo relax dyan. Mas maganda is uh, hanggang dulo ay eh, relax ang ating bayarin. So, yun yung mga strategy na pwede natin laruin. Pwede tayong makipag-usap sa developer na pag medyo maluwag na tapos na yung pandemic, kaya nang magpa-recompute. Para naman siguro duhin natin na yung ating balance is na ito tayo sa safe mode. No? So, nasagot na yata yung tanong sa ating uh, rental rates. Pero, of course, ang um, call year is the mga projections yan. No? Pero nagbigay din naman si, si Dave ng idea yung, sa surroundings. Pero yeah. isang tanong dito, Dave, uh, ang tanong ni Miss Janet Morris ay, ano ba yun? May idea po ba kayo sa percentage ng tenant versus end user? So, si, sino bang makasagot nito? Ibisibin. Um, uh, okay. Dun sa basing dun sa mga sa projects na nasa area, yung end use is nasa 70% and then yung tenant or rent is nasa 30%. No? And I think that's a big chunk din pagdating sa rental. Yan. Okay. So, sa tingin ko, no, marami nag invest dito kasi andito talaga ang bakpaka ng school. So, madami dito sa <laughs> ang bumibili not only for rental purposes kundi for their future yung mga anak nila yes, yes. Yes, that's why mas maraming end user and 30% lang ang rental na gumagamit and I remember diyan no ang isang kwarto mga anak na dokunde hindi na tirahan ko dati sa, sa Maynila so that <laughs> <laughs> usually you know me oh Meron pa ba kahit question kay Dave? Kasi meron pa tayong isang guest but bago natin bitawan si Dave. Maraming maraming salamat Dave. Kasing saya mo, kasing buhay mo ng, ng fashion mo ang Manila. Naisip na rin si Futura Sento alalahan na rin si Dave. Lagi kami na kaming guest. Thank, Thank you, you ma. Dave. Thank, Thank you, you ma. Yan. So, balikan natin naman ngayon ang uh, isa nating guest ulit. Alam ko, busog na busog na kayo. Sobrang mental workout para sa ating makababayang Pinoy sa abroad. Nakakatuwa, no? Uh, dati pangarap lang natin ng Maynila. Nakikitira lang tayo. Nakikiboard. Pero ngayon, because of this opportunity na nabigay sa atin, we have the, the, the chance to have a piece of land, to have a piece of Manila na atin mismo. Yan. For that... Meron pa tayong isang guest. Last but not the least, may we call on Miss Jaira Alice. Another good news para sa ating mga overseas Filipino. Siyempre, we are promoting uh, investments in the Philippines for our overseas Filipino. So tawagan natin si Miss Jaira Alice who is the uh, marketing support for digital tools ng MRB. Yan na si Miss Jaira. Hi Miss Jaira. Yes, that. Good morning, good morning, Hi, and good afternoon to our. Hi, ma'am. To our Freedom Business Partners who's joining us tonight. Yan anong good news pa sa akin, Miss Jaira? Puro mga millennials, millennials tule ang feeling ko man. Ang ating mga bisitang uh, speakers ngayon, Miss Jaira, anong dalamong good news para sa mga kababayan nating Pinoy sa iba-ibang parte ng mundo when it comes to digital world? Yeah, the, the new world na, the new normal. Yes, ma'am. This time naman, uh, we will be sharing with you the type of support and different types of digital promotions that you can use to further promote our project. So, kanina nakita natin, in-explain sa atin, Dave, ni Sir Saul, why Futura Centro is a really good good investment. So, this time, we will give you the tools kung ano pa yung makakatulong sa atin para mas ma-promote pa natin yung projects and ma-close na natin yung benta. Okay. Can you guys see my screen?
Okay, so, okay. Good morning, good evening, and again, good afternoon to everyone who joined us tonight. Uh, well, tonight here in Manila. Today, I'll be presenting to you GMM MRB Spotify. This offers the end-to-end -end solution to support the digital selling activities of our MRB projects. So, kanina, nabigyan naman tayo ng brief explanation ni Ms. Aven and also ni Sir Sol what our MRB projects are. Similar, I think very since very millennial tayo, we're very much familiar with Spotify. And with Spotify, you have different types of subscriptions. So here we have basic, pro, and premium subscriptions. So of course, basic would be free for all. And then as we go up or yung different type of subscription natin, meron tayong katumbas na benta. So I'll give you a quick preview lang what our basic Spotify offers. So everyone, I think right now, lahat ng kasama natin in this live stream gets an access to our Spotify basic. So you get our digital flyers, fact sheets, our sales kits, 30, 30 second videos, our 360 degree photos, digital pro project specific digital ads, our email blast materials, and of course, an access to basic mint. Ano ba yung tinatawag natin na basic mint? So, basic mint is actually a system for you para dito naka-house lahat ng artworks natin. So, kahit nasaan kang part ng mundo, this can be accessed. Pwede rin siya sa mobile phones nyo or even on your laptops. It stands for Marketing Inventory Tracking for Sales Materials and Marketing Equipment. So, just in one click and one go, you can download download the fact sheets, the flyers, na pwede nyong i-share sa clients natin. Also, you can get here yung mga T60 photos natin and also the virtual tour videos. Next would be our Spotify Pro. So, paano naman tayo magiging pro subscriber? One has to have at least one MRB project sale. So, isa lang po coming from the previous month, you get to access, on top of the basic offers na meron tayo, you get an exclusive training from one of the projects or two of the projects of MRB. So this is what we call Project Messiah and Project Snap. Also, we have the DMAGs and upgraded na rin yung access natin sa Mint system. Meron din kaming tinatawag na Mint Pro. Para hindi tayo ma-overwhelm tonight, I'll just give you a quick preview or a short description of the projects. Yung tinatawag nating Project Messiah creates an autoresponder in Facebook to immediately provide MRB project information. Of course, para makatulong to sa leads generation natin. Another project would be Project Snap where we use carousel as a platform and create a standardized and professionalized way of listing. On top of that, another tool would be what we call the DMAGs. So DMAGs naman pertains to digital marketing activity grid. This is a calendar that will guide our sales team or tayo ang mga business partners natin kung anong pwedeng i-boost na material on a day-to-day -day basis. Hindi lang yung boosting, also includes yung posting, anong pwede natin i-share sa community natin, and other projects, uh, other updates about our projects. Dito natin yun makikita. This is created on a monthly basis. Then it looks like a calendar para pag sinave nyo siya sa phone nyo, you can just look at it. Then, okay, Monday today, ano bang pwede kong i-post? So yun, nakalatag na dyan lahat. May guide. Meron na rin tayong captions na pwede nyo gamitin. So you can just copy and paste it. Last, of course, would be our Spotify Premium. With more benta, mas marami rin tayong ma-unlock na projects. So, on top of the offers na meron tayo from basic and pro, mas madadagdagan pa siya ng premium projects ni MRB. So, these are other solutions na pwede natin gamitin to further help us in promoting our projects and also para mas maklose pa natin yung benta. Again, just a quick description of the other projects. Let me just zoom it in. Okay. This one we have Project Inbox where we create content marketing through email. So this is very relevant right now, especially hindi tayo nakikita and wala tayong 
personal na interaction with our clients, mas ito yung mga makakatulong sa atin to strengthen our digital efforts. Another project is what we call Project Flex 2.0, which offers us games naman to, so mas interactive. We create interesting games about our MRB projects to with the aim to engage more leads. So since ngayon, maraming online ng mga clients natin, a good way to catch their attention is to actually engage them to a game. Kasi, di ba ito yung mga clickbait eh? Pag nakita mo, um, what kind of investor are you or what type of property suits you the most, yun yung mga sinasagutan natin eh. Madali lang siya and it's not that, it's not time consuming but very engaging. Another naman would be what we call Project Inbox where we create a protocol for Instagram selling naman. So if nakikita natin, we're touching different types of platforms talaga. Another solution we have is for our prospects. So of course, nandiyan yung leads generation and also then comes yung prospecting natin. So to further help us in keeping our prospects warm, we have Project Bonafide. Then another solution that the team is currently finalizing is what we call go live where we create similar with this one we will be doing live streams where we showcase different mrb projects earlier we mentioned or i mentioned na si spotify offers us end-to-end -end solution so what do we mean by that if we look into our sales process Yan, okay. Nakakategorize ang mga projects natin depending on the sales process. So, for leads generation, nandyan si Mesaya, Flex, Snap, Instax, meron tayong projects na suitable per category. Next would be for our prospects naman, you have Bonafide, you have Instax, uh, you have Inbox, and also Go Live. Then, to help us naman with our tripping concerns, of course, we can utilize our 360-degree photos and also yung mga virtual tour videos natin. This is very helpful para si client natin, mas ma-visualize niya pa yung property natin. If yung mga magtatanong, for those that who wants to get an access sa mga artworks na yon, we will be sharing with you the link to the Mint, Mint system, yung basic na Mint natin. Then you can just request for an access, we will approve it, and then you can easily download those materials sa website natin. Of course, last part of the sales process would be the closing. And of course, sino ba ang expert sa closing? It would be you guys, ang business partner, ang freedom business partners natin. We will be leaving that to your hands. And on top of that, ang PD team naman natin will be helping us with the promos that they create. So kanina, let's be reminded of our ongoing promo with Futura Centro until August 31 na lang po siya. Just a quick Recap, para lang mas ma-visualize natin in one kung ano bang qualifications natin per subscription type. We have, again, the basic is free for all. Then, ito yung mga standard marketing materials natin. The flyers, the fact sheets, you can access there. Next would be our pro subscription. So isang benta lang po na MRB project, you get to access or you get to be a pro subscriber. So on top of the basic offers, again, you get a specialized training. This is a one-on-one -on -one session for Project Messiah and Project Snap. And we will be creating a specific DMAGS for you or a digital calendar for you na suited talaga sa focus projects mo, ano yung territory mo. So yun yung gagawin natin. Last would be to become a premium subscriber. You have to have at least two units of MRB projects na mabibenta or an accumulated sale of 7 million coming from the previous month. So yeah, very madaling madali lang. Dalawang unit ng centro, pwede. Next month, magte-training na tayo. Magkikita tayo for another training session. So yeah, naka-breakdown lang. Just a quick description of our other projects na mention ko na po kanina. Then on top of that, Every time na magre-release si marketing team ng new projects to help our sales team sell or to create other tools, kayo po ang mauuna as long as kayo po ang nag-qualify. That's actually it for our Spotify. So I hope 
you guys ano mas ma encourage kayo for sa mga solutions na ma unlock natin every time na mahakabenta tayo ng MRB project and also Wag po natin kalimutan ang nag-present po kanina for Futura Centro. Benta po tayo ng maraming maraming Futura. Ayun na, oh, grabe naman. Then yung normal talaga ngayon. Talaga digital na and we are very uh, thankful kay Miss Jaira for giving us the good news. Pero alam niyo ba? Meron pa kaming next good news sa inyo. Okay? Akala nyo yun ng digital ha? Meron pa kaming good news sa inyo. Panoodin nyo ito and masyasyak kayo sa good news na ito. Mm. <laughs> Ayan, game na! Wow! nagsusuporta sa atin ng mga overseas Filipino, please send them the link, send them my personal invitation, and please, they need to register. They need to register kasi po ang ating raffle every 10 minutes up to 10,000 pesos. Isa sa inyo ang pwedeng magwagi. Ngunit kung hindi kayo mag-register, hindi mababola ng online ang inyong pangalan. Kaya po, don't forget, register na dahil araw natin ito sa linggo. Yun! Yun ang matinding good news. Okay? Ito na po. Yan. So makukuha niyo naman po lahat ng information na ito sa ating Fridge Revolution Official Facebook page. So huwag kalimutan ipadala ang link. Araw-arawin na natin ang pag-invite para naman maramdaman ng ating mga membro na tayo in spite of pandemic, ay patuloy na lumalaban. Okay? Yan, apat na araw na lang ha. Huwag niyong kakalimutan. So, okay, thank you, thank you. Thank you sa lahat ng ating mga speakers. Pwede ba natin silang tawagan para naman mapalakpakan natin dyan sa inyong mga tayo sa iba-ibang bansa? Ayan, ayan na sila. Nako naman. Last word para sa ating mga bisita. Yan. Miss Even, closing word mo para sa ating mga kababayan? Uh, kung hindi man word, wala ko maisip na isang word. Pero siguro, Miss Ted, it's more of preparing for the future. Very up yung ating featured project na Futura. Pero totoo naman yon yung pagtatrabaho natin outside the country. It's because we're trying to map out a good future for our family. So, yes. yun lang, ngayon pa lang, we start uh, building that future and building that dream. And we do have all these investment opportunities for everyone. May pwedeng end use later on if you want to live in those uh, hard-earned investments or pwede rin natin maparenta as part of our retirement plan para meron tayong passive income. So, you have all those opportunities for everyone. Thank you so much, Ms. Aben, at sa lahat ng iyong mga kasama ngayon. Si Sir Sol Dolente, na napakagandang good news ang binigay sa atin. Si Mr. Dave Ronquillo, ang super batang lagi nakangiti. Piling ko nasa Manila ako. And ang um, millennial na millennial sa Ms. Jaira Alice, na super excited kaming lahat sa pinakita niyong lahat. Kaya... I would like to take this opportunity dahil kasama natin ang ating partner developer sa ating laban bilang OFW. Okay lang ba? Napasigawin din natin sila. Okay ha? So, mga partner sa developer, ganito po. Ang sigaw natin, laban OFW. Sabay, kukuhanan tayo ng picture. Okay? Okay. okay. Joseph, ready yes. ka na ba? 
Ang sigaw namin para sa lahat ng mga OFW. Laban, Laban OFW. Laban OFW. OFW. Turn live. Okay, isa pa. Hindi na. Yeah, okay na. Okay, game, game. Pag sinabi kong love, oh guys, <laughs> overseas with you, <laughs> party ng mundo, sumabay kayo. Alam mo kasi kailangan isinisigaw natin yung laban natin eh. Diba? Okay, one, two, three. Ang sigaw ng lahat ng overseas Filipino sa buong mundo. Laban na mga 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 Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Wala na naman natin silang Thank tanong. You. Thank you, yeah. Miss Ted. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, everyone. Thank you, Miss Ted. Thank you. Dapat magpatugta tayo ng Manila, Manila para hindi nila makalimutan. Sir Joseph, no? Yan. So, nawala na sila. So, guys, maraming maraming salamat sa pakikinig muli sa ating balitaktakan dito sa ating freedom business na magbibigay sa inyo the real estate. Yan, di ba? Yan. So, salamat ng madami sa lahat ng mga nagbigay ng oras. Sobrang mental workout. Saan pa kayo makakakita ng partner sa business? Walang iba kundi sa Freedom Business. Lagi kaming nandito para tulungan marating ang inyong mga pangarap na makauwi ng free and rich and never have to work abroad again! Bye-bye! Manila, I'm coming home. I bought the streets of San Francisco. Jennifer Suma, girls in Sydney. Thank you, Ms. Sheila, of the UK. Grabe, saan pa kayo makakita din mo lang sa school of business na puno ng mental workout, physical workout, funny workout. Binibigyan na sa lahat ng mga kababayang OFW. Stay safe. Safe na safe po. Nasa loob lang kami ng bahay. Okay, huwag nalilimutan. The list is full. I don't like it. So, I'm a nice girl. 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 I'm a yeah, Miss Jenny at the Kanapka. Thank you from Abu Dhabi. Miss Maylin Viray. Yeah, galing ng mga apps. Magaling talaga. Dito lang yan sa ating freedom business. Yeah. At syempre pa, ang ating partner developer na si Tune Invest na walang pipa ay na tumutulong sa mga overseas Filipino. Thank you, Miss Jeff. Super ganda ng mga balita from Kisa of UK. Siyempre pa, palakpakan naman natin ang pasalamatan ang mga kasama natin behind the scenes, Mr. Joseph Lapsina! Yehey! At siyempre pa kanina si Mr. Pontialo. Thank you so much. At ang ating laging kakotsyapa sa ating balitaktaka si Mr. Jason De La Cruz, the marketing and business analyst of the Midrise Project. Yan. God bless you all. God bless you all. Bye bye. See you again next Wednesday for another mental workout. Pero bago yun, magkita mo na tayo sa Sunday, okay? See you on Sunday. Miss Tony, thank you from Milan, Italy. Si Miss Jack, si John Fritz Rebo from Abu Dhabi, Jen Carpio watching from Belgium. Masarap din naman na sa iyo sa kayo. Thank you so much, Marlene Velasco. Pwede na kayong mananghalian sa Europe, sa Mabas, at sa sa Middle East. Yan. Babay na po at meron pa kami isang matinding giling. Ngayong gabi naghihintay upang mabigyan kayo na lang napakaganda at napakasensa ng reaksyon sa linggo. Bye-bye!
time Take me back in your arms, Manila And promise me you'll never let go Promise me you'll never let go Manila, Manila I keep coming back to Manila Simply ain't no place like Manila Manila, I'm coming home 